Jesus is the answer for the world today. Good morning, saints. My name is Reverend Annie Cooper from Christian Pentecostal Church. And I would like to share a devotion this morning with you called Light and Salt. The reading of this devotion is taken from Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Before I begin the devotion, I would first like to pray. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come humbly before thy throne of grace, I look unto you, the author and the finisher of my faith. My Lord and my God, use me as an oracle to spread this devotion so that your people can be touched, so that they can be encouraged to continue this walk this journey that you have called them to. Eternal God and everlasting Father, by the Lord Holy Spirit, I pray that you will allow me to decrease and you increase so that the word shall be received in love, that the word of God shall be received in blessings and in upliftment and encouragement to the saints of God. Thank you for using me as an oracle for the kingdom of God. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Reading from Matthew chapter 5, 13 and 14. And it reads, He had the salt of the earth, but if the salt has been lost, its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. He had the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Every Christian or every believer in Jesus Christ ought to be salt and light in this world. What is the purpose of light and salt? The purpose of light is to dispel or to push back the darkness. And the purpose of salt is to add flavor to any meal and also to be used to preserve things. As children of God, our purpose in this earth is to be light that shows those that are perishing in the darkness of life, the way to the light, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As salt, we should bring the flavor of hope, peace, love, and joy into the lives of people around us. And also to preserve the word of God that is within us. To fulfill the purpose of being light and salt. We need to have our identity in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But to accomplish this purpose of being light and salt, we must first know who we are as light and salt. And who are we as light and salt? We are children of the King of Kings. We are subjects of the kingdom of God. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. Before we can walk in this authority that we have called to walk in, we must first go to God and seek him so that we can walk in this authority. How can we identify with Jesus Christ and walk in the authority that he has bestowed upon us? The word says that we must first seek him by praying and worshiping him 
And we find this word in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. And it said, We ought to be speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing and making music from our heart to the Lord. After we have done these four things, which is first praying, worshiping, waiting, and listening to his instructions. We must read the word because the word of God will confirm every instruction that we have received. We ought to be the light that Jesus has called us to be. We ought to be the flavor in the lives of the people that is around us. As light and flavor, we ought to always touch the lives of those that we encounter each day. We need to seek the Lord for fresh manner, just as he provided fresh manner in the wilderness for the Israelites, so ought we to seek the Lord every day for fresh manner, so that when we feed the people, when we touch the lives of those that are around us, we will bring joy. There will be peace. They will desire to know who our God is. And they will seek him. As we go on our journey each day, we ought to be the brightest light in the darkness of this world. We ought to be the salt that brings the flavor of God in this world. And we ought to preserve the word and the flavor and the light that we have spread on our journey each day. Walk in the light. Because as the word says, that ye are the light of the world. A city that is set up on a hill cannot be hid. Do not hid, hide your light under a bushel. For the world is in so much darkness. And they do need the light of the world. The light, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. To show them the way out of despair and despondency. Out of this valley of shadow of death. As you go also, be the salt that flavors the life of so many people that you have met and you will continue to meet. Let that salt be sprinkled, the salt that seasons the word of God so that it will be sweet to the taste of those that are hopeless. It will be sweet to the taste of those that needs encouragement. Be the soul, the best soul that you can be in this world and be the best light that you can be, the brightest light, the best and the brightest light that you can be in this dark world. And please do it for the glory of God so that he can be exalted and lifted up on high for his word says that if we lift him up he shall draw all men unto him thank you for being the best the best salt and the best light the brightest light in this world god bless you saints have a blessed day in the lord